Hi there Crafty Wands, this is Pam Van E and I have a journal that I completed. It is a farmhouse type journal um, and I'm going to have some kits. I was thinking 10 but it might be just five um, of some papers and some um, bits and pieces to make this journal and then I'll make another one somewhat like this. And if you wanted to buy the kit and follow along or just buy the kit and use it as you want. Um, in a couple days, I'll have the little farmhouse ephemera kit papers um, in my Etsy pen to paper by Pam. So um, this will not be for sale until I make another one. So I kind of have this as a template. But um, this is my farmhouse journal. Um, and in the kit, too, I'll um, put this... It's a vintage quilt that has these two squares that I cut smaller to fit the cover, which is, you know, it's about, you know, 10 with the fabric, but um, I think it's nine and a half by six or six and a half, nine and a half by six and a half, I believe. But um, when I do the tutorial of this journal, um, I'll have all the measurements. So, um, and then it's, soft because it has the batting with that quilt piece the quilt piece and then it has a cereal box also so i added um a little rick rack here and then let's see where do i start and then this was a snippet roll that i had made earlier goes around like this and then there's the back of the, that's the other um, squares that will be in the kit and um, more of a crack. And then I just, you know, this is a snipper roll. There's a little heart appliques and things. And then uh, here's a vintage. Oh, it's so hard to cut that up with that vintage yo-yo and a little chicken, just little snippets. Um, and then, I have vintage uh, this like retro bed sheet that goes through this and this is three signatures and I have this like ticking it's a thicker like ticking oops and this weighs quite a bit I uh, put a lot in it so then here I have a pin and I did um, <clears throat> glue it down so it wouldn't you know move and it has a key it has this wood um, tag with retro fabric a little oven mitt a little pink resin flower and then this flower so and then it has you know lots of lots of things it's fluffy and there's the top so three signatures let's open it up and uh, in the kits um, I didn't that I will uh, make up I won't include like <clears throat> excuse me you know everything <clears throat> of course but um, <clears throat> you'll have your own um, designer scrapbook paper scrapbook paper or what kind of papers you want to put in there um, I will include a few pages of the retro and I think these are mainly 40s and 50s um, so I didn't want to add digi kits because if you want to follow along and use the ephemera pack, you're not going to have those same digis. So I did scan a couple things of my own, <clears throat> which will I will include into the digi, um, ephemera pack. I have a little lace here, a little um, check gingham button, um, and then I backed this 40s ever picture or ever bake a pitcher cake on some brown cardstock. And then um, included will be this vintage um, bed sheet. And then I have this yellow um, index card and I put this book belongs to, a little rick rack, and then I stamped my rooster that I got at a, I think at a garage sale or on, or on sale at Hobby Lobby, I can't remember now. And then I put some streusel, a coffee cake, vintage Betty Crocker recipe card, 72. One, and then a, I think this is a Tim Holtz um, 
our card. And that will go in this pocket here. And, you know, you can just use whatever stamps you have. And then I have a cluster here and a little uh, applique. So it has some vintage fabric, a couple vintage fabrics and the chickens and a little applique and some fibers. And then here's a little um, scrapbook page with a mixer. And then we open it up and it has a pretty diagonal pocket. And then I just put some scrapbook paper in here to write on, um, just to bring in the color. And then this is a little scrappy tag. And I um, watched Kathy, um, what's her last name, Amara? Amara. Um, I will put her, um, uh, her YouTube channel in the link because I was inspired by a couple of things that she did. Um, and this is one of them. And I just, it's like a little scrappy... And here's a recipe, a little graph paper, and notes to do. And then this is wallpaper. And then I just cut that out of scrapbook paper and added a little ribbon, gingham ribbon, lace, and a couple appliques. So that just goes in there. And then here's a little bit of um, notebook paper, a little gingham paper. And then I cut, did um, quite a bit of fussy cutting. This was from a, mag, a magazine, a vintage magazine, and I did do some stenciling, looks like coffee rings. Uh, and I thought that, I've never heard of Airway Coffee, but it went well with this book pages, and I will include these book pages. Not the exact pages, but you know, from the book. Echoes from the Porch. And it has a nice little illustrations, and his faithfulness goes on and on. To each succeeding generation, Psalm 105, verse 5. And then it opens up there, and there, look at the farmhouse. And then we have lined paper. Uh, here's some paper, and then I tore out this little hints, kitchen hints, and uh, added just a little scrap and um, crack. And this um, page uh, has like you know, like a picnic, and then I had this deli paper that I tore and put on this side. And then I added from a vintage magazine this ad uh, for ketchup, and, and this is beans recipe. And then I have a junior trivia and a playing card, and that goes in here. Cut that out. The best memories are made on the farm, and a little lace here. And that was from a scrapbook pack, paper pad. And then this is the other side of the deli paper. And it was kind of fun, kind of challenging, but, you know, I wanted to try to get as many pages going, you know, the right way instead of folding it so everything's sideways. So uh, some of the papers, you know, were cut here because I wanted the other side, you know, to be right. So I, um, and I wanted to give this strength. So then I just added this little cow page. I added this ribbon with the uh, ladybugs. And then I added some gingham trim. You can see the writing. It's a cute little story about the cow, mama cow and the baby cow. You can just see a couple little words there. And then this page opens up and you have a tractor. Little tab here. Put that little tractor there. And it has a different season spring summer on the farm this is from a vintage it was a coleman camp stove look that went well with the orange on this page and then here um, i really like this scrapbook paper it's got kind of a texture to it and then i added um, some bed sheets vintage bed sheets um this kind of lacy fabric this bed sheet um Chanel, because that reminds me of a grandma's farmhouse, Chanel bedspreads, and this fun uh, rook rack. And on this side, I covered the paper, the back of this paper, with some scrap of paper and some, um, um, I don't know if that's crochet or knitting here. 
and put that together and then I have this pattern and I fussy cut it out for a pocket added this cauliflower card and then this was inspired by Kathy Amara um, and it's a collage that I have did and then I um, cut it out and then I added uh, the little fussy cutout cans added a stamp added some washi I did some wonky stitching I fussy cut that out from a, a paper pad added this vintage bedspread lace and a little applique and that goes in here we have some of this paper I got this on uh, Amazon that's kind of a nice feel to it um this is from a crochet book and um, this side has um, some lacy um, from a I don't know if it was a tablecloth or curtain. Some more lace and another little lace here. This opens up, and you could put something in here from a sewing mat, uh, book. It's different laces, and then I added a little lace here at the bottom. And then here is a um, large pocket. This is a wallpaper page. And I added some bed sheet. And I zigzagged some fabric down to bring in the colors here and a little daisy applique. And in this pocket, and that look good, cherry coffee cake. I love coffee cakes. And that's another one of those cards from 71. And then just some paper that you could write on. And that's a sturdy pocket. I really like how this page turned these pages turned out. Uh, this I include in my the kit, uh, farmhouse kit. It is a copy of a quilt that I have, and I put it on uh, this side too. So that's a tuck, and this is the middle of the first signature. I added the spatula because it talks about pancakes on this pa this scrapbook page. It's pancakes and little spatula. So I added this spatula charm, and I have a milk uh, cap, and then this is a pocket, and I got this, uh, this was out of a book, um, that talks about butter, so I thought that was cute in there, and then here I took this from a vintage magazine, and I, from, it talks about pancakes and a syrup, and I wrapped it around this side, this was a envelope, and then I wrapped that around, um, have a bow tie there, tied, and then some more of this coffee um, stencil, and then he's making milk, and then I have a little pocket here with a playing card, and another little, I cut that out, talks about the farm, and added a uh, doily, and that goes in that pocket. And then this is more from this uh, vintage magazine from the 40s, I believe. And there's some sweet toes, like a syrup. And then on this side, I have like an old uh, recipe. can't hardly read it, but still fun. And then hot bread and minutes recipe. That's fun in there. And added a little gingham bow topper. And then here's some more of that um, magazine. I fussy cut this butter out and then I ruffled this um, piece from a magazine or uh, from 19, this is April 1947, added some more stenciling. And then on this side, I have another recipe, summer, summer sausage, and tells more about butter. And that's more of it. I have it on this brown cardstock. And I did stitch around these. This side, I added um, another piece to this scrapbook paper. I zigzagged. I added this um, paper ruffle, coffee dyed paper ruffle. Then I have a bird charm on this little gingham um, 
ribbon and then a little button. And then this was another tag inspired by Kathy. And I have some bed sheet, little lace, I think it's coffee dyed paper, a little stamp, and then sewing around a pretty image. And I added a little um, words from a book. And, you know, mine looks different from hers. You know, you just follow along somebody and then your own style comes through. So that's what's awesome about uh, doing this. We each have our own style. This was from a um, book, sewing. Added a little, you know, fabric there. They're making bonnets and bibs and added some note paper here. This was from um, that doily page. Um more paper to write on. This was one of my images uh, that I scanned of a doily that I have. And then I also um, stenciled this page with a doily stencil. Then I added this real pretty um, postcard that I recently got. I believe it's from Germany. That pretty bouquet of flowers. Okay, then we have this beautiful scrapbook paper that I like that's textured. Here's some more of that the ranges and then here's some uh, more about the farm and what they do in fall and winter on the farm and some terms here with the definitions here's some of this deli paper this is I really love this page these pages here so cute um, so it has this was that other side of the, the um, stationery with the um, like picnic and I have Little Chick's Breakfast from this book. I kind of tore it here. This was an envelope. And then, actually, there's a pocket here. I don't have anything in here, but you could put something here. And then there's the space here. And then I cut out Little Chick closed her eyes. She sat very still, but she could not sleep. I hope we have dried corn, said Little Chick. Dried corn is my favorite breakfast. So then I added Little Chick's Breakfast. And then I cut, um, put a yellow doily. And then I cut out from yellow um, paper, cardstock, some little um, pieces to look like corn on his plate. So little chick did get corn. And then I added this gingham ruffle. So this is one of my favorites. Isn't that cute? Uh, little chick. And I did a stamp here of a farm. And we have writing paper. And this is more of that book that opens up. I love this illustration. Give us our daily bread with the uh, dairy and the barns. And it's just so pretty. And then here, I uh, got this out of a paper pad. This is memories and a little barn there. And then this was a like a game card. And I added a tab to it. And there's like a little yellow bucket. And this talks about her mom and her talents. Um, and it, one of them was sewing, so I put this cluster here, these fabrics, and a crochet doily that I believe I got from Donna, and a button, and the rick rack, and a little sewing machine, and a button on this uh, ruffle, island ruffle. This pretty paper here we got some lined paper and then this is the wallpaper uh, there's a little snippet with a butterfly and ribbon and fabrics um, and then it has two little tags and if you wanted more you know if this was yours you wanted more writing you would not have to add as many things but I'm more of uh, I just like to look at my journals so um, it's just fun for me to just look through at all the different elements in a journal. And then I put, what I did here was I added a eyelet um, uh, brad right there. And on the other side, I added, see if you can see it, a puzzle piece. This is a big puzzle piece. And it swings. And what I did was um, I used, I punched a hole, put an eyelet behind on the puzzle piece, 
and then I cut off part of the prongs of the eyelet and then I put a button on there and then I put some of this um, eyelash trim and then I have this Tim Holtz kind of looks like uh, people who might be on the farm here and that can tuck in here so that's the first signature and here we have the second added um, this real pretty scrapbook page and this vintage a lace or crochet I guess it's crochet and then this is from a book it says voices of the Midwest I really like this too I'm the heartland shaped in line by rivers great and small that wind past farms whose barns and silos stand like treasures in my fertile hand and um, there's the farmer partners with nature and then here's a pocket and a little scrapbook page and you could write here and then this I put um here it has a little guy in a tractor from a scrapbook it's part of the farm and tractor wheel and we have graph paper and there will be honey golden honey for tea it's a different book and I thought that went pretty with this here it talks about his garden I thought these look like rose um this is a vegetable garden I was thinking about just freehand putting little sprouts in here I don't know maybe I should um I'll think about that that might be cool or just little plants coming up I, I put down this notes here and we have a little part of a notebook line paper here's some stationery like cute little stamp I got this is sweet pea um, this page opens up, but it's also a tuck. Here's come for coffee because I think of, you know, ladies coming over for coffee on the farm, maybe sitting on the porch or on a picnic table. You know, as maybe they're sewing or canning. And this is from a vintage, what does it say? Available in glass or tin, October 1960. I have some red lace. I backed it on this um, this ad on um, cardstock that kind of matches this. I have some green. Um, I'm forgetting my words. Uh, what is that? Well, anyway, and some lace and a little gingham button. And then we have farmers market list and this is a copy of a quilt that I have and I zigzagged and stitched around and just added a little fabric stitched on top topper burlap that's what it is it comes eventually <laughs> that green burlap there and we have this beautiful page friends love at all times and look at all the um you know apples and some apples here something to read about the farm and then I have a paper doily and I did uh, I kind of uh, took paper underneath and I traced it so that I could have something thicker here this is cardstock underneath here so it holds things in better than just a plain paper doily I zigzagged down this apple uh, cardstock because there's apples on that page and then Dutch apple pie, Dutch apple pie, easy apple crunch pie. And then on the other side, I also backed it here with cardstock. And then look at this cute um, page from a book. She's planting some geraniums with her brother. Cute. And then the deserted farm. And then July comes after June. It's hard to sleep on a night in July. Uh, and it was a little challenge to, you know, get your book pages, but, um, you know, to fit and cut and to go this way. Uh, but I did. And then, um, so I got this, but then there was also this page. So I kind of cut that to fit too. And it's more about the farm on the porch. So, uh, that opens up. Here we have a diagonal um, pocket, added a little tab here, and I really like this scrapbook paper, the surplus from Summer Garden, 
family farming and then it has omelet oven omelet brunch and then here's a recipe card added a little paper flower and a little gingham button and some gingham fabric and gingham ribbon oh and then we have a little bit of lace or crochet crochet trim here's the middle of the second signature so here I have a little pocket this cute little family looks like they would be on a farm and yeah here's the pocket and I have burlap here and here pockets I have a little milk cap and then I have this lovely farmhouse paper which I love and then here I just added burlap and a little um, from little piece from a paper pad and journal in there here's uh, that other uh, scan of the patchwork and I stitched around here family farm stitched all through here and then added a bridge card or bridge paper this is family farm uh, here I made a pocket uh, this out of this um, kind of a lacy uh, curtain added an applique and added a cute little kitten card and a baby boomer card these kittens are on the farm a lot and then on this side the pocket we have this rooster recipe card which goes very well with the colors here and another saturday night special speedy bake beans dark date nut bread and then on this card i just have some buttons so lots of fun things to add then uh, this is from a garden page cut that out to make a pocket and i like this too new livery and feed stable uh, we have a guest check and then this is a pretty floral card nope no nope card so that's been added to that flower packet pocket um, scrapbook paper which folds out and it has a little used one of my punches on the edge and then here's another um, fun part so this was a part of the page so then I added this paper here to it and then I added some lace here's some music paper and this is cute with that little chicken I added some yellow lace and that flips up there's the little shed on the farm with a little bird uh, from a flower magazine and added this beautiful scrapbook page paper and here's another one of those books well this talks more about christmas but that's fine because you know there's all seasons in um you know farming and in life so we got that little story there here um was inspired by kathy also uh who saw the idea or um it was with roxy racial with roxy's creation and you know mine looks different too but you know the idea and I like this little page about a fox on the farmyard and so uh, anyway she has a tutorial on how to make this so I made it my own I um, you fold it so many ways and I added burlap and some lace and tore some that pretty scrapbook paper out uh, this is a tag from a floral book with the information on the back and then I uh, collage a couple pieces here. And then here is some paper, which matches this paper. So you've got a pocket here, pocket here, and you have a pocket in the back. And then here I have Snapdragon card. 
with information about that. So that was fun to do. And then I really like this. This I made an altered paper clip and um, I just took a, and I'll show you how I did it, but um, I just took a leaf, put backed it on some craft paper, added a flower, and then on this side I have some another leaf and another flower that matches that side. So then this opens like that and you can put that on there and I had it where this flower matches matches this here as you can see. Okay and then we turn it and there's that flower that went well with that. I just got this little stamp. It's so cute um, at a garage sale with uh, my granddaughter. It says, please return my book. I'm not the best stamper, but anyway, you get the gist. A cute little mouse. Yeah, it was, I hope everybody had a good um, Memorial weekend. Um, we did, or I did. Uh, what did I do? Saturday, my 16-year-old granddaughter wanted to go to some garage sales, so we did, and I'll show you what we got. And um, not this video, but I will be showing that. And then we went up to my stepmom's, went to cemetery, put flowers on some graves, and then had breakfast with them. Then that day, that was yesterday, we came back home. Thought we'd stop in and see my daughter, son-in-law and granddaughters. Um, they just live five minutes away. But anyway, and ended up working, my husband did anyway, uh, digging up their house. They have a little pond, you know, a waterfall kind of pond. So did that, but then they took us out for dinner. So we had outside and it was really pretty and had a nice day. So yeah, it was great. I uh, hope you all had a great time too. Um, this is some lined paper. This pretty stationery has a little, looks like a little farmhouse there. That goes up. And then I just made this fold over tag, added some pretty stitching there. I put an eyelet there and some ribbon, lacy ribbon. And then I added this uh, lacy piece and that just goes over the top like this. And then you have a pretty little page, flip over, flip over tag, whatever you want to call it. And there's that pretty uh, floral paper. And this is more of the planting the seedlings. And like I said, I may add little flowers or sprouts, or I may just leave it plain for writing. But it just looks like hose, uh, rows of, for gardening. And there's more of the book and some graph. And there's the farmer on his tractor. There's the barn. Part of that note paper. And then here's a copy of what I got uh, from a estate sale of the uh, barn. Barn there. And then I have some of this paper and it has a rooster on it writing paper so I thought that would work good in here and let's see then we have this it's like kind of like quilt pattern or quilt paper uh, this is the third signature and it has some eyelet lace and then here it's kind of fun uh, this is from an almanac here pick up and go June planting guide. And then I have some farm to table note paper. I did a little stenciling. Um, this opens up for writing. Then this little playing card, I fussy cut this chicken out and then added a little uh, rooster ribbon on this junior trivia card. This can go back, and then this is a copy which I include of a quilt top that I have 
I like how that turned out. So it's a little envelope and you could put something in that. So you could make an envelope and use that. There's the Almanac, July 1942. And this is from 1940. It's um, from a magazine page. I thought it was kind of cute with their striped dresses and their little bonnets. There's the other side, it's ladies. Got some yellow paper. And here's some more of that kind of got a textured, thicker scrapbook. And then I added this really pretty lace for a little fabric trim, I guess, with a little scallop edge. And on here we have a pattern. And so it's a pocket, which I don't have anything in, but it is a pocket. Some more paper, a little rooster song, song um, music paper and ledger i thought this was cute little story and it has a grandma and she's talking to her granddaughter about the farm and the ancestors and the history of it and and i thought that was cute kind of reminds me of my one gr granddaughter so i added that and here is a little um garden card went well with the pictures here and then <clears throat> this was part of the book so I opened it up, and there's a grandma telling her stories, and I rocked all my grandkids, so I thought that was cute there, how she's telling the story, the history of the farm. And here um, I tore some of that deli paper, and then I fussy cut the lemonade out, and then added this lemon sparkly lemon paper for a pocket added this wide rickrack <clears throat> here i got <clears throat> this from marcy a creator's call shop and it worked perfect in here and it's a, a index card and she added all these fabrics on so and this lace here so thank you marcy i love that that looks great in here and then i fussy cut this lemonade recipe and added that on here a little lace And this is the other half of that doily that I fussy cut out that I have made a copy of. And then here's some vintage uh, craft Parmesan cheese. And this is from the 40s, I believe. And I've never heard of this dromedary brand. Gingerbread mix. So I tucked that in there. Interesting. And here's a little paper doily. It says, come savor the flavor. And then here I have a jean pocket. And I added some flannel here and a little pin. And then I have a little tractor, a charm. And inside the po pocket, it says, farm life, the best memories are made on the farm. And then this little striped, I have some decorative leaf stitching and stitched around. And then I just have different... Uh, fabrics and fiber on there and the, oh, on the back I have this um, flower vintage flower magazine page and here's the middle of the last signature the third signature has this covered bridge card and then I have diagonal pocket here and I have a diagonal pocket here and I have like an old written recipe, uh, cucumber relish, and this is scrapbook paper, thicker, and I added this crochet doily. And then I thought this looked well with the colors here, the leaves, and this is in Vermont. Uh, barn a uh, bandstand and in view of the beautiful Baptist Church so I thought that was cute and then look at this uh, card it's not vintage but uh, it's about a teacher reading and to her student and it's reading lesson at a farm workers community school Woodville California in 42 perfect
And then we have the other side. Added this little paper flower. And then here, I love anything strawberry rhubarb. I might try that. That looks really good. Strawberry rhubarb puff. Vintage recipe card. And then a, this went well with the black and white little recipe card. And then we have this pretty paper with strawberries. And here's a cluster with burlap, a uh, tool, little hanky, handkerchief, lace, and a little button. <clears throat> And this has a little Tim Holtz slotted pocket, a little lace here, or doily, just a cute little square, uh, looks like a quilt, <clears throat> and then a little romaine flower magazine, and a little rooster playing card. I only have that one, and then a little bird playing card, and a little rooster. I do have some barn playing cards I'll probably add to my kits too because I just got them, so there'll be two different like farm, uh, not postcards, playing cards. And there's a fun little picnic scene and a paper doily and this cute little golden book because there's a little watermelon and there's watermelon there added some rickrack and um, here is a pocket with a large playing card you could add paper if you wanted to journal and then i have this ladybug ribbon and on this side we have this scrapbook paper and then i cut from a magazine this vintage jello it seemed like jello was real um, popular you know back in time and I added this bed spread or sheet and a little ruffle and some of the little jello molds and I have lace here and then a little cutout from this paper and the tab so that's fun more papers and this one I had you know this was the paper here and then I added Little Boy Blue to it, page. And so this was on the other side. It's cute. And we have a fold out of this ledger, large piece of that. Then here is a music paper. And I just added this card with a doily, um, some little cutouts, and a applique. And here is uh, I stapled on this gold bond stamps back in the day when you exchanged those for um, you know some house goods and then here is a bottle cap with a little farm Ferguson Farms um, on this I um, added it and it was really cute it's a Apache blessing it says may the sun bring you new energy by day may the moon softly restore you by night may the rain wash away your worries may the breeze blow new strength into your being may you walk gently through the world and know its beauty all the days of your life thought that was really pretty and this little mouse was worried I can't remember what he was worried about in the book but <laughs> anyway and then there's a the moon there and um, how I did this I took a book page and I pieced it you know, so this would, you know, you could see the, the whole page. And then there's a little recipe card. Added some coffee dyed paper because that was glued there and I didn't want it to actually be glued. And then this can flip open. And then I stenciled some blue. And then this is a copy that I made of a this applique page that I had. And I kind of, you know, tore it and rumpled it up. And here's the other side but I thought oh, it was cute because it's got little vegetables and things and that just tucks there and I have a little doily piece here and some reason oops so that's the side we have a yellow graph and I stapled some receipts this is that other page of that vintage uh, those dresses with the stripes the cotton shop and then I found this at the garage sale we just went to the the farmers, what's that called? I can't think, but the 
He's got the pitchfork. And uh, I found that stamp. That was so cool. You can kind of see it through this way too. And this is from that almanac. It's kind of funny. And here's July planting dates. And he's got a headache. And that's the advertisement for anti-pain pills. And just some information here on that almanac page. And this is the last page. And here I added a large index card. I tore some of the deli paper, check deli page. And then, so this is a tuck, and I added a vintage recipe here. So that goes behind this large index um, card. And then I just um, backed this ticket with a thicker cardstock, so it would be a sturdy tuck. Added burlap lace and an applique, and then I took um, the pattern and ruffled it here and stitched it. Added a bingo card and stamped on this index card the little rooster. And then I have some eyelet trim here. And on the last, it is um, cute with that little baby chick and a little applique. And then it has a little tally card that I made into a little book with yellow uh, on the outside. So I thought it matched with just some ledger papers in here. And then a little, a simple life is a beautiful life. The older I get, the more I think that a simple life is the way to go. So, and uh, the pages, whoops, sorry, I just bumped it. They lay, you know, fairly flat. So, you know, if you wanted to write on them, you could. So then this is my little chunker. But, I mean, it still lays flat. But um, So, that is the example of my farmhouse book. And I hope to get a tutorial together and... Uh, you know, show you how I made it, basically. I mean, not every single tiny thing, but, you know, get give you an idea how to make it. So, um, look for my farmhouse kits and um, how I make this. So, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers. And if you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe or comment or, or like. You have an awesome day. See you next time. Bye-bye.